Soldiers of the 841st Transportation Battalion are used to intense physical training, but today is different. It's just great to be here. Like I said, I'm just, I'm just honored to be able to take part into this because we have individuals who physically can't do it, who really want to. So, you know, we're holding them on our back as well. So I feel like it's a privilege to do it. They're training for a commemorative Bataan Death March, which marks the 75th anniversary of the Bataan Death March of World War II. During the Bataan Death March of 1942, more than 75,000 American and Filipino troops were forced to trek more than 60 miles through the Philippine jungles. Like I said, it's more, it's, cause it's more to it than just the physical part. It's more of the, I would say the spiritual part of it, of just, like I said, embracing those, those ones that we lost during, that, during the Bataan Death March, so. On the day of the race, Joint Base Charleston members showed up to support, some breaking the 26 mile course into teams, but all using the memory of the World War II service members as motivation. So we, do, we definitely encourage everybody to train for the physical part. 13 miles is a lot for one person, so if you're doing the whole thing, we definitely encourage people. And it's, and it's mental, but as long as you know what you're doing it for, it makes it a whole lot easier knowing who you're doing for those fallen soldiers. So it makes you give you that extra push, that extra drive. Extra drive that led the march to be a success. Very successful. Everyone's, everyone's you know, motivated about it. Everyone's doing a great job. You know, you have to be strong-minded to do this. It's, it's not your everyday walk through the park. <laughs> But it's, it's worth it. Honoring those who sacrificed for us 75 years ago. Reporting from Joint Base Charleston Naval Weapons Station, I'm Staff Sergeant Brian Grotz.